difficult but I was trying to do it in the, in the bag. Colour film in basically three layers of black and white film. You can put black, you can put colour film and black and white chemicals if you want. And you just get black and white next in. So. Do you have to bleach your back? Yeah. No. Not no, 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 because you want the silver there. Because what happened? You asked about the silver popping the dye sectors something. Mm -hmm. it, it's not. It's not actually. There's something in the, in the developer that makes that happen. Of course, that's not in the black and white developer. So the dye sectors don't do anything. They just, they just get washed away by the mixer afterwards and the halides. Mm -hmm. So the no, very no. orange was negative, which is um, I guess yeah. imprinting yeah. might print very far. But yeah, I mean that's one thing worth noting is you notice that most color negatives are orange. The reason for that is, is purely for again for mechanised printing. It's because it's easier for a machine or a machine they first do super one printing with triple super one film with mechanically to do it with just got a more orange base to it. So the paper paperwork, so... Because you can't process still. And... To do with solid film, it hasn't got the other end of the had a quick discussion with someone in Brighton a few weeks ago. He said... Oh, actually, he's got that. I don't know, maybe we've got a red scale film. We get red scale film. Red scale film, we basically film this turned around in the can, so it the other way. So exposing it through the orange layer, so you get the orangey effect on the film. Mm. Um, someone 